All right, so we have created a blank document, a blank grid document because we're in math class. Um, and I'm recording this video just so you have an idea of what some of these buttons do. If we start at the top, we can go across. Um, this is a teacher license here. If you have your drive, your MCPS Google Drive linked with Kami, then it will automatically save in there um, with any annotations that you make. So I'm going to write this as your test grid document. I'm going to give it a second. And I'll show you where that should upload in your folder. If I do this, I don't know how long it takes. Let's check now. There it is. So it's already my test grid here. I would suggest that you name it something because otherwise you have lots of blank PDFs and you have to figure out what they are. All right, so in here we have our Zoom option. This ends up being very helpful because what it does is it creates more space. If I thought that I had taken up all this space, I'm going to draw a picture right here. I love math so much and then I'm like, oh no, I ran out of space. Well, actually you can zoom really far in and create more things. I love it. If you remember when we used to draw this, I'm just kidding, you guys, you guys are too young. Boom, it's the arrow, right? I can drop, drop, jump in and draw lots of pictures um, and create more space. So no, no more saying, I ran out of space. I can't show my work. Nope, we have that here. Um, open file. This will come directly from your drive, typically. Um, you can get it from your computer as well. Share. When you need to share this with a classmate or your teacher, you can create this link for them to get to. Um, so that is that button. That's what that one means right there. Um, we also have print. If you have a printer, save, which it automatically does again. But if you want to save something really, really badly, that can happen there and download. You will need to download some things um, because what it will do is create a PDF for you. Um, and that PDF can be uploaded to my MCPS classroom, uh, Canvas, um, whatever you need it to be. So it will create that PDF and no one can change what you wrote in it once it is that PDF. Um, another note on that, if you are working with another person, whether a teacher, another student, and I drew this picture here. If I'm working with um, Eric on something, then he cannot erase what I did. I cannot erase what he did, but we can erase our own. So that's um, a good thing to know. All right, quickly, let's go down here, select. I have a select tool. If I want to move this around, um, that can happen. They also have this shows up and you can move it that way. Let me try to move it back so it makes sense with my little arrow there. Um, but that is your pointer tool. Dictionary, you might not use as much in math class, but if you have a PDF in English class and you do not know what one of those words mean, you can highlight the word, choose the dictionary, and it will define it for you. Speech, uh, text to speech, I have never used this tool, um, but it is what it is. It was what it says. Markup. All right, let me zoom out a little bit. Yeah, I'm keeping my math because I love math. Um, we have highlighters. We have box highlighters. We can strike through stuff, underline stuff. All of those sort of tools are in here. Um, this is true for all your colors, right? This is what I have in here right now. But if I did not want to want those colors, and I was like, wait a second, I need a. Um, what color do I want? I want this blue one. I can change that and just select which one you want to change uh, and move them around. It doesn't matter what colors they are. Pick your favorites. Um, and there you are. The three most recent ones show up. But as I choose another one, those move down. So it's always the recent ones that appear for you. Comments may be helpful when you are um, working with classmates um, or teachers on that. Uh, you can do a voice comment, video comment, or a screen capture. Text box, because obviously my handwriting isn't very pretty. Um, I can choose whatever I would like, what font size, and I can say, this is the best tool ever. That's not true, but that's fine. It's a good tool. All right equation tool. This one is super helpful um, because I don't know about you, but my pies look different every time I draw them. Here, I can draw myself a picture. Sorry, I did not do that first. 
I want to make it a little bigger so we can see it nice and bold. And yes, things pop up all the time. If I do that, I can throw in a pie. There she is. Very nice. I can never draw that in person. But these tools are, this is great. So if I go in and I want to write, for example, the quadratic formula, I could say negative B, and then I know it's plus or minus. Well, I have that here. Um, I was playing with it before, but it's here, plus or minus. It has to be on there. That is so cool. Um, my symbol, I want to make it plus or minus. The square root. Oh, yes. Square root, where is that down here? I already played with it, obviously, but I can find it here again. The square root of b squared. Now, there isn't a square in here, but you're going to need those um, exponents. So if you look above your 6 on your keyboard, there's that little caret button. Um, it looks like this. Um, that is showing exponent. Maybe it will show it. Ooh, oh, it does it right there. Um, I'm going to take out that angle picture in just a second. but that carrot is showing um, exponent. So let me delete this little angle thing here. Oops. And I deleted it as an exponent. So I'm going to go boom again. No big deal. Sure. Sometimes you just play around with it. All right. Negative b. Um, negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac. Ooh, I lost that for a minute. I have to say it in order. Now. I want to put this all over 2a, but if I just hit divided by, it's going to do just the number or just that um, that's right in front of it. So I don't want that. I want the whole thing divided by 2a. So if you throw a couple parentheses in there, and you can't see this because I have this covered, um, you can see that it will do the whole thing. So that's one way to do it. Um, the, the, um, the equation tool is wonderful. All right. We also have a drawing tool. Um, you know, I could draw myself a little picture of myself. Let's see what I want to do. Today. Oh, I don't want to make anything with different colors. I'm just going to do this. I have straight hair. La, la, la. I am not an artist. Just kidding. If I take time. No, nope, my hair's not like that at all. Eye, eye, nose, mouth. I'm pretty scary looking today. That's okay. All right. So, you know, you can use this tool. You can color things in. I want to have blue hair today. That's fine. Um, it's a drawing tool. It's a pen. I have a pen, um, so sometimes it might not look this pretty, especially if you're using a touch pen. <laughs> I just said that that was pretty. Um, this pretty with a touch with a with a touch pad, but you can make it happen. And using you know your text tool as well as your um, your equation tool will be very helpful in this matter. Okay, um, then we have some shapes. It. I ran out of space. Just kidding. I have a whole page. Uh, I also could zoom really far in if I wanted to, if I wanted to draw a nice picture next to the bee, right? I can do that. Um, hi. Oops, that's still in. Those are lines, but that's okay. It still says hi. There it is. And I can draw really small. I'm going to move really out. Barely see it, but it is still there. All right. A couple things about these tools for shapes, right? It's helpful to be able to draw different shapes. I want to be able to draw a rectangle, but I also want to be able to draw a square. Now, these squares help, but if I didn't have it there, if I hold down my shift button, it will automatically make this a square. Even though I'm over here doing all these weird things, it's always going to be a square. All right. Same thing with our circle. Yes, I could make a, an ellipse, or I could make, if I hold down my shift button, I can make a perfect circle, right? So no one ever has to draw a perfect circle ever again. A um, couple other things that you can do with this. If you want them to be filled in and green, do it, right? I can draw a triangle. It is going to draw, uh, it originally is an isosceles triangle. Uh, then you can move, use your select tool to move things around to whatever angles you want. Um, you know, length size, obviously, are not a thing here, right? It's not measuring the size. Um, if you want to draw a right triangle, same thing. We're going to hold down our shift button. Oops, not like that. Hold down my shift, and it will always create that right angle for you. So that's helpful. All right. And let's see, a line tool. Draw the line. This one is fill, so that's why it's so thick. But you can pick the thickness of the line, right? If you want it to be smaller, 
um, or if you are, you know, want it really, really small, however you want to, that is there. And eraser, because I made a mistake here and here I can use my erasing tool. And yes, you have to erase every little thing. It can't, excuse me, it can't be, um, you know, if I want to erase, oh, see, it just erased the whole equation. My other favorite button, undo. Undo, undo. There it is. Um, that comes up up there. I'm glad that I made the mistake. So I can erase here. Um, finally, you have, you can insert images, you can insert stickers that'll come up. Hooray, I love this. Super impressive. Um, that's going to be on there. And, you know, a signature, which you would have to upload your signature there. And we don't need you to sign any things. But those are the most functions that you use with Kami, I would say. Um, it is fun to play with and draw with. Um, and everything gets saved, so you don't have to worry about, oh, I lost that paper. It's all going to be on there for you. So there's Kami in a nutshell.